right, here we are, round two. Um, kind of tracker flooded. This is kind of the problem with playing multiple trackers in the 22 land deck. But, this, we're on the draw with Noble. Kind of sucks, because pretty likely not to live. In which case, we're in trouble, and we have, we do have, I guess, Spellqueller as interaction, but we're not doing great in terms of interaction. Alright, looks like we're playing against Bantel Drazi, so I guess we could be playing against Tron. Um, but they do play one Brushland. I was going to say it's much more likely he's playing Bantel Drazi. Uh, actually, a pretty good matchup, so hopefully I can show you guys here. Um, if he thought not to me this turn, it's kind of unfortunate. I could have held up spell. Oh, I couldn't actually held up spell caller because I have my mana is too awkward. Oh, Jazzy Sky Spawner. Tireless Tracker. Play the Stomping Ground. Sacrifice a land now. I'll only sacrifice one land. I'll get the Windswept Teeth. Two clues is, like, plenty. If he wants to path my tracker in response to a clue, that's fine. I just want the path to exile up in case he has Smasher this turn. Or Thought Not. Either or. Looks like no Smasher. So, if he Thought Not's me, I guess I just let it resolve. Because I do have uh, two paths. I don't want to let him see an extra card. The path is kind of awkward here because it puts him on Drowner Mana next turn, which is a bit unfortunate. Plays another Sky Spawner. It's kind of annoying, but I think it's okay. I do have Spell Queller to try to block. I'm going to get a ton of clues here. It's pretty nice thing about spell spell queller in this matchup like is really bad because well not bad but displacer prevents spell queller from like it just frees the spell so I don't mind just running a spell queller out to try to ambush a sky spawner you know I think. I'm just going to hold up my paths. You know, if he doesn't... If he attacks with a Sky Spawner, I can just play Spell Queller. Hoping for, like, a Thought Knot here. Something I can... Well, I guess I'm not hoping, but... Something I can exile with Spell Queller would be nice. Though then he's not going to run his guys directly into the Spell Queller. If he's got another path, then that's a bit problematic. A Displacer is also kind of problematic, but he's already played a path. Oh, he has no path. All right, so we get to start on the clue train. And this is what I mean about the tracker in, like, fair matchups. Like, I untap with the tracker, and that is basically all she wrote. I don't think my opponent is going to be very likely to win this. I don't even need to play that on our tracker, honestly. Let's just play Knight. Forest. And attack with my tracker. And I'm probably going to play my, my Selfless Spirit. It's at the point in the game where I just want to play stuff. I don't want to fall too far behind. Oh, he's going to... What? So does he have a path? I think he would have pathed my spell queller if he had it. What is the deal here? I can just sack a clue. Um, what happens if I sack a clue, though? What is he going to do? He's going to path my guy? That's fine. He's not pathing my spell queller, then. I think he just made a mistake, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, I was going to say, like, he probably has not played against Tyler Tracker that often. I have another path. Okay. I think we've won this one. Yep. 
Even a drowner. Like, like drowner is scary, but, you know, my creatures are, are pretty big, and I have so much removal. Alright, so we're playing against Bant Eldrazi. I like the two Elspeths. I like Obstinate Bailoff because it's good against Reality Smasher, and it's a card that, even though you can't hit it off company, um, you don't mind taking taking this, like, playing this against just Displacer or whatever, because they can't displace this and, and kill you that way. Um, I don't really love Selfless Spirits, and I don't love Pride Mage. Sometimes they bring in Cage, which is a little bit annoying. If they, like, have a one-mana Cage that kills your, kills your company, it's nice to have, like, sub-number of Pride Mages. I think Voice is also bad, generally. Because they can blink the token, and the 2-2 body itself is pretty irrelevant. And I usually side out some number of spell callers on the draw, even though it's good. Like, it's just not insane. I think we probably want Ghost Quarter. And I'll just cut a fetch on the draw. Well, that's pretty greedy, huh? Could just cut the wolf run. The wolf run can be good though. And sometimes I board in Static Caster. Sometimes I don't. There's no really rhyme or reason. I did see two of the two ones. So, like, Static Caster isn't that great against Scions. It's okay against Scions, but they can just sack it, so it only kills one at a time. But he could be on the list that plays four of the of the two one flyer. But we don't know if if that's the case or if we just saw. Two of the two one flyer. Like a lot of people play a lot of that now, but a lot of people still play Matter of Shaper. So I think I'm not gonna board in the static casters. I think I want all the other these other three drops. Um retreat. I could play static caster instead of retreat. They don't have that much removal though, only four paths. And I do have the spell skites, so retreat I can combo them with. I almost want to put... Eh. Tracker on the draw is not great. Let's just keep... I think this is fine. I think the retreat is reasonable. The retreat also is is actually... I'm not going to say at its best against them without Knight, but using your fetch lands to tap down like Reality Smasher, you know, is pretty nice. Like, most matchups, that's just irrelevant, but against a deck like Eldrazi, it's actually pretty decent. So I think for that reason, Retreat's fine. He put his card on the bottom. Rushland, okay. He might be he might be missing blue here. I have two paths, so I actually don't hate um tapping out here. If he thought nots me, I can just take you know path pretty simply. And this is why I like Spell Skite actually in this matchup is because it just blocks. I mean, they do have Noble Hierarch, so it's not that great, but it just blocks like Displacer and Matter Shaper and stuff like that. Um, and then it stops their Displacer Shenanigans. I'm actually going to play Spellskite here. It's kind of weird. If I played Tyler's Tracker, it's... If I played Tyler's... Oh, what? 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 I just didn't... I didn't even touch my keyboard. What? Alright, I guess I just lose this game. Well, that's demoralizing. I didn't even, I didn't even have my hand on my keyboard. That's, un, that's unbelievable. I think I have to path this now. Oh my god, I was gonna say, Spellskite is like a conservative play because it, it keeps my life total high. Playing the birds is really good, assuming we draw a land, because we can go like tracker plus path. Oh my god, I'm so dead now. I guess if I draw a land this turn, I'm not dead, but... 
What? I my hand like I lit was I clicking? Was I clicking F two? Maybe I was clicking F two. Maybe that was it. Yeah. That is that is a fucking beat right there. Pardon my French. Mmm. I feel like his draw wasn't bad, but I feel like my draw... Well, I guess I would have had to draw another land, but... I must I must have just been mashing F2 with, with my finger. Like, without noticing it. I thought I was clicking on my land to play it, though. How do they... How do they get discarded? I, I don't know, man. I think... Whatever happened, we'll see on the re on the instant replay what I did. Being careless, well, not not even being not just not really being careless, just just talking while I'm I'm playing, makes it really tough. Looks like he's got a two one flyer because he's oh, I'm gonna say why would he be fetching here? It's just random. Uh huh, that that fetch line is a dagger. I think I almost certainly would have. Ran away with this game. Because I would have played birds. I would have played birds plus path. And then I would have just played tracker fetch. And then I would have had four mana. Um, you know. And two clues. And two cocos. Let's just not shock. Play the birds. Pass turn. Now if I draw a, a land, like, I don't even know if I can afford to play Tracker over Company. Let's see what he hits here. Opponent is flooding out, which is my biggest problem with the uh, that deck. Displacer's not bad. I guess he's going to keep the Relic around for uh, Knights. Spell Skite, not that great against this placer if he's got Hierarch. Hopefully we can draw a land, though. Draw Company. I think I'm just going to play Tracker. I don't think... Well, I don't think Spell Skite helps me that much here. If I get Company down, you know, maybe having more power in play, I can turn the fight. I, I can just, like, clock him. I'm in a spot, though, where he can exile... He's got six, seven, eight mana. So if he plays another land, he can exile three things. So I kind of just need to overwhelm him with stuff. And hope he floods out at the same time. Okay. Well, he can upkeep tap my birds, which is pretty annoying. Um, it's not the end of the world, you know, because company is an instant. So as soon as I draw a land, I'll be able to play the company on my upkeep if he taps the bird. Oh, draw step. All right. That the forest I discarded. Oh God. I'm going to need to land real soon here. I'm at nine. Opponent is grossly flooded. There's a path. Okay. I like that. Yeah, maybe we'll just win due to Mana Flood on our opponent's side. I could pay a blue to redirect this last one. But I think I'd rather just play the Spell Skite. Let's see if he's running the, the third basic or not. Some play two. Yeah, he doesn't have another basic, which is pretty nice. Alright. 
I kind of have some padding. Like, if he draws a Smasher or a Thought Nutsy or something, like, I have Chump Blockers. Looks like he drew a Stirrings. No, what is this? Two mana? Sorry, I'm still tilted about that hole. I just hate ruining games, you know? Just, like... I just want the game to be... Like, accurate. Maybe... I Going to seven here. He actually might be sitting on like a a, a stubborn denial or something like that. It seems weird to me that well, not weird. I could go for the main like the upkeep company or whatever. I'm not sure if he sided in. He just scoops. Okay, I guess he just only had lands. Let's see what we would have hit. We would have hit Reflector Me. We would have hit Ooze. Ooze and Knight. Yeah, that would have probably ended the game. Well, our opponent thought it out, which was nice. He, We would have really crushed him. I mean, I guess he had Engineered Explosives, but could have maybe blown us out if we had the extra Forest. But I'll take, I'll take that after the dis turn 2 discard my Forest play.